Okay, about the middle of February, after the freeze hit January the 10th through the 14th, people started reporting dead snook by the thousands, by the tens of thousands. And the guy in the Everglades, their biologist, he even bannered numbers like hundreds of thousands. So think what would happen. Here's the chairman hearing these numbers, seeing these pictures, and getting information from biologists in the park, from other biologists, right? Heaven's the best. It's like walking on a cliff in a fog with a blindfold on. What do you do? You stop walking. <laughs> I applaud the man mm -hmm. for what he did. Sure. Oh, there's no criticism there. And, yeah. on, and in hindsight, yeah. he did the right thing. You can argue till the cows come home that he may or may not have had data in January and February in 2010. No one had any data in mm. January of 2010. But the data came in after that, right? And it supported exactly what he did or what they did or whoever did it. Right. However it was done. We significantly, we had significantly less snook on the West Coast by two thirds than we did prior to January 2010. This freeze is the most severe freeze that we've had in my lifetime.